Michael, very uh, discouraged right now that he has not heard back from Nina since their lunch date. Uh, nice guy. Seemed to really kind of think about his date mm-hmm. with Nina, but is very confused on why, hey, I don't know what I did wrong. I want to know what I did wrong if there was something. I just, I'm being left in the dark here, and he's uh, bummed about that. So we did get Nina on the phone. She is on hold with us right now, so let's bring her on. Nina, you there? Hi, uh, yeah, I'm here. Hey, Nina, I know we put you on hold and we kind of said, uh, just give us a second, we'll explain. You just heard me kind of explaining about this guy you went on a date with, uh, Michael. Uh, we heard you went to uh, K Pasa for a little lunch date, something casual. Uh, but he yeah. also mentioned that he wanted to take you on a more formal date. And he's been trying to set that up with you, but hasn't been able to. And we were seeing if we could maybe help him set that up. Would, it be, would you be down? No, not really. <laughs> oh, man, that was quick. That was quick. Why? It's just, like, what he does for a living, it it really creeps me out. What does he What does he do for a living? I mean, first of all, he, you know, it was a lunch date. It was, like, on his lunch break, so he showed up in his uniform, and he does pest control. Okay. So, it's just, you know, it's like, I just, all I could, I was, like, looking at his hands and looking for stains, just, like, what did he touch? You know, what kind of animal did he touch? What kind of poisons did he touch? What kind of poisons did he use? It just, it really put me off. It was just like making my skin crawl, just thinking about that, you know, and it, it actually just kind of spoiled my lunch, to be quite honest. Okay. It, just, it really turned me off. I mean, well, you got to make a living, and this is how he makes his living. I mean, you got to respect that, I think. But was he a nice guy when you were on a date with him? Yes, he was really, really nice. Just the setting, you know, like him in this uniform, he disposes of like possums and rats and raccoons. And mm. yeah, it's just, Pest I don't know. It's, <laughs> I mean, that's what they do, right? Yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just something that I'm not really comfortable with. It's like a phobia. You know, even when I see roadkill on the road, it's like I start sweating. Like I'd like have to go to the other lane just to avoid it. Like oh, I just... Man. Okay, so this is more of like a phobia that you have, not necessarily, it's not really his fault. This is more of a, of a well, you thing? Well, I think it's kind of gross, I mean, to show up on a date, you know, after you just disposed of the animals. I don't know what his morning was like. Uh, I mean, for uh, all I know, he could have been carrying a possum or something, and it's just, ugh. Uh, yeah, I mean, that is kind of a weird thing to think about. Well, Nina, I got to tell you. I think this will clear things up for Michael because he was really wondering why he hadn't heard from you because he was bummed about it. And I think he'll be relieved to know it's not something that he did uh, on the date. We have him on hold uh, with us. Can I bring him back on for a second just to just talk to him? Can you hang on for us one second? Uh, okay. I know this is awkward. Michael, you there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still trying to process what she's saying here. Well, do you want to just talk to her? So, like, my job is what bothers you? It's what the job entails. Like, I just, I wish I would have known that before I met up with you. Like, I don't know, maybe if I didn't see you in the uniform and you didn't talk about what you did, it would have been different. But it's just, like, why? I just didn't know that's what you did. I mean, I had it on my profile. Like, I, I, I wrote what I did for a living. Michael, I, I, your profile says you work with animals. <laughs> oh, that's a little different. It is You're a not different. like cuddling them. You're running after them and catching them and disposing them. And <laughs> mm-hmm. that's true. And they're not puppies and cats. You you were probably thinking maybe like a vet or maybe works at I a zoo like or animal something like that. You or zoo. That's working with animals. This okay. Is disposing of them. <laughs> I mean, I didn't write that I cuddle them and that I'm a vet. I wrote I work with animals. I think it's kind of sneaky to say that you work with animals because it led me to believe exactly what he just said. Like, oh, he's a vet or, you know, he has an animal rescue, a nonprofit for animals. Okay, but that's but not my is, fault that you misinterpreted what a profile says. I mean, we, you, we had fun on the date, right? You don't work with like, them. I mean, I guess you could have asked him what he actually does before you went out. If- it just. It seemed pretty straightforward. People that work with animals, right? they work with animals. <laughs> and I don't know. It just makes my skin crawl. It just... 
But Nina, completely different. I mean, it's not like he's showing up and he's like, "Hey, look what I found," or "Look what I caught." You know what I'm saying? I mean, he this is what he does for a living. I'm sure he's very sanitary about everything, you know. And and Michael, I don't think you should be telling war stories over uh, over lunch if you know if that's uh, telling stories about your job if that's what you were doing. But at the same time, Nina, this is just what he does for a living. I mean, he's a nice guy. I mean, would you be willing to see him again? I'm sorry, but I just can't do it. I'm sorry. You know, they have soap and stuff, right? Like, you know, people, there's a lot of dirty jobs out there that people shower up after they're done and, you know. I, I'm sorry, but, like, I don't think, oh, I can't wait, you know, to have a romantic evening with him when he gets home from disposing of animals. It's like those hands touching me and uh, the, the uniform and the laundry, like, no. Okay. All right. Well, Michael, this looks like it's going to be a no for Nina on another date. You know what? I'm. I think I'm good. I, I don't think I want a second date anymore. All right. Well, you guys can agree on that. Uh, Nina, yeah. I want to say thank you for coming on with us today. Uh, Michael, okay. thanks for reaching out. Glad we got your email and we were able to work this out for you. And I wish you both luck. But thank you. Hey, I got my answer, so thank you. Absolutely. You guys have a good day. <laughs> I just. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm looking at your face the entire well, time. That's not working with animals. <laughs> that's, he, he did that because he knows that when you put up profile and you have like a dog picture or something that attracts more women. So that was completely misleading. Well, I don't know. I mean, he, he yeah, saying that you work with animals is is, is, is misleading. That's in not that. working with animals. But he is working hard. You know, he's doing a job that needs to be done. So I don't think that should be held against him. I don't think he showed up and had a bunch of critters with him. You know? No, but it's not. That's not the right description of your job. <laughs> Working with animals, I love it. Uh, <laughs> I could say, "Oh, I'm famous," but no, I'm not. I'm just, I just do a radio show in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> Lana, in my head, you are definitely famous. <laughs> that's uh, completely misleading. <laughs> uh, all right, so here we go. I got to hear what you think about this. That's hilarious. Eight hundred nine nine two ten ninety nine. Eight hundred nine nine two ten ninety nine. Well, this has been a deal breaker for you. Was she too hard on him? We want to know.